Hello everyone, um, I like to use iMovie 11 as we can see here to create quick short videos for YouTube I just find it much easier to use and it's very quick and easy to knock together a quick video for upload to YouTube and then I use Final Cut Pro for more uh, extensive projects but for most of my YouTube stuff I use um, iMovie 11 as I've got open here now once you've created your movie, I've just created a, a small title here, it's just a, a quick test, but once you've created your movie it's important to get the export settings right. Originally I used to go to Share and YouTube here and upload the video straight to YouTube, but the quality is very good, all the settings are default, the quality isn't brilliant. Um, the quality is okay if you've got a lot of light and the if it's video that's been taken outdoors for example then the quality isn't too bad but when you've got shadows or you've got darker images you get a lot of dithering and uh, doesn't really look very nice at all a lot of banding so I've been looking into alternative methods of exporting video before uploading it to YouTube and the, the best I've come up with so far when using iMovie and it's probably very similar with Final Cut Pro although I haven't tried it with Final Cut Pro just yet is I go to this one here, export using QuickTime. Now if we select this, you can choose a location and choose a project name for the project, so I'll just leave it as that. And then we make sure we select here, movie to QuickTime movie. And we select options. And then we'll go through each of these. So video, make sure video is ticked. We'll go into the settings. You want to make sure you've selected H.264. It's completely compatible with uh, YouTube and it is a HD format. So select H.264. Frame rate, you can keep as current. You can choose your frame rate if you want to, but I don't see the need. Keep that as current. I usually select automatic keyframes and remove frame reordering Now that's also recommended by YouTube to remove frame reordering data rate I usually set the data rate to between 6,000 to up to about 10,000 uh, kilobits per second reason being 10,000 if it's a short movie it will give you a larger file size but it will be nice and nice and clear down to keep it 6,000 the bare minimum so if you've got say a 15 minute video that you're going to be uploading to view YouTube you don't want that size to be too huge because uploading would take you quite a while unless you've got a good upload speed so I tend to go between 6 to 10,000 sometimes slightly higher depending on the project I'm creating but generally if it's for YouTube I go for about 7 to 8,000 so I would stick 7,000 in there and again leave the compressor settings as they are we select OK to this filter you can add filtering uh, adjustments special effects and so on but uh, I don't bother with any of this It's much better to do it in the actual video so you can see what the output is going to be like before you upload so I leave all of these as they are to so we'll cancel out of these and then you can select your output size now I tend to output at 720p HD but you can go all the way up to 1080p if you want here or you can select particular formats here or choose a custom range so as I, as I said I select 720p here and then we can leave these both of these blank that may be ticked by default untick that because you, again you don't you don't really need that if you're going to be uploading to YouTube select OK to this now when it comes to sound we go into the settings select AAC now that by default it will be on linear so we want to select AAC and leave this as stereo select the Hertz to 44.1 so we'll select that there and the rest we leave exactly as it is we select OK to that so that's our sound and then tick prepare for internet streaming and fast start you probably don't necessarily have to do this when you're uploading to YouTube but I like to keep that ticked anyway and then we click OK and that's it everything else is done we can now click save and it will go away and export the movie onto your desktop or wherever you've set the video to save and then you can get then uh, log into your YouTube account and then you can log into your YouTube account and upload the movie as you normally would so 
these are the settings I found to be best, the sharpest settings uh, for YouTube. So go away, try them out, and any comments please leave below. If you found some better settings than this, I'd love to hear about that. So again, please leave comments, and hope to see you in the next video.